Welcome back, YouTube, to part four. Looking suspiciously uh, close to where we left off on part three. That's because it's just immediately after. That's how this works. But uh, we're moving on. All right. I'd appreciate if you didn't swear in the first 30 seconds of the video under. <laughs> I'd like this to be monetized and not have to edit and block out chat because one person couldn't couldn't behave. That'd be kind of rude. Okay, now we're seeing a bunch of high YouTubes. Hell yeah. Oh, there's a Ranguru. I don't think it I don't think that matters. I think I think I'm probably get away with it. I think that affects bigger streamers though. The quick ball failed because I couldn't catch the fucking monkey, dude. Are you serious? This sucks. Away with you. Long time no see YouTube. Okay, never mind. This is how it's gonna go. This is what we're, this is what we're doing today, Pokemon. This, this is what we're doing. For sure. Okay. I just wanted to make sure this is this is how we want this to go today. How is stored power working? He hasn't stored any of his goddamn power. <laughs> he hasn't done anything. Beat up by an orangutan. Is this because I said that both of you guys were forgettable? That's not my fault. That's your own fault. Normal psychic. Giraffric. <clears throat> Normally spends its time meditating in treetops. It throws pokeballs and gives other Pokemon orders as it pleases. This thing is just another trainer? What do you mean? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who gave it that dex entry? Is that a summon skull shirt? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Glad you asked and waited to ask. Yes, it is. I just think it's neat to own a Summon Skull uh, shirt because I feel like not a lot of people rep in Summon Skull these days. And then, Summon uh, this is in the Final Fantasy font. Let's the other one move again in its place. Oh, that's gross. That's gross. I don't like that. We should have waited to heal. Pal World stream when? Tomorrow. Are you going to be here, Ice? What are you doing tomorrow? You going to watch the stream? I'm going to be waiting for you. The, I'm literally going to wait to start the stream until Ice is here, guys. So, if Ice doesn't come here tomorrow, then we don't stream Pal World. Like Ar Archfiend decks? Summon Skull is pretty cool. Uh, Archfiend is, and I don't really think I've tried an Archfiend deck. Remember how they made the three uh, shakes not a rule anymore? What do you mean? Expand on that. Nick, we need your help. Please come with me. Yeah, this worked really well the first time. Mashing the enter button. Actually, it's called NTSC World over here. That's a good joke. That's a good, uh, that's a good joke. I'll give you that one, Sean. I like that a lot. That's the exact level of nerdy and funny that I, uh, I strive for. Aha! Uh-oh. All right, doing better this time. Never mind. <laughs> Didn't even get the XP for it. Let's go. Okay. Probably, probably done with uh with Toxel from here. <laughs> I don't know that it can really do anything. So you're so bad. You're just not a good Pokemon. I don't want to put the effort into getting you good. It just feels like so much wasted, over, so much work. Uh, what is uh, what is Inkay again? Dark Psychic, or is, is that Malamar's typing? I don't know what type Inkay is. Try Panchamp. Only five more levels. Here's hoping. Can it also learn Thunderbolt when that happens? They're both Dark Psychic, so then fighting should be neutral, right? Ooh, a crit. 
Yeah, dude, why wouldn't your speed raise? Oh my god, not swagger. Not like this, no. <laughs> not like this, no. Panjab, you can't defeat yourself. Don't do it. I gotta start giving everyone lumberries, because this shit is, uh... This shit is annoying. That's gonna hurt. Breakthrough, Pancham! Come on, Pancham, what are we doing here? What are we even doing here? That sucks. <laughs> God, I love confusion. It's so good. I love when confusion only works against me and doesn't work against the NPC. It's, it's always fun. Alright, that's the end of, uh, that's the end of Thievel. <laughs> once again, Thievel's cameo. You still have quick attack? Yes, good. For this exact situation. I like how NK was faster than, uh, Baby Thievel, even with par uh, Paralysis. That's kind of gross. Right. A, a grass Pokemon. Oh no, my evasion. I was so good at dodging moves already. I can't believe I just hit fire spin. <laughs> Learn another move, I'm begging you. Learn flamethrower, please. You should dish the fox. Uh no. Under, I think you should uh you can have your own Pokemon team and I'll have the one that I want. Here, how about that? How about how about this is... I'm playing, so I get to choose the Pokemon. Does that, does that sound good? No! No, no! Espeon, my beloved, no! Espeon is my favorite... Or is, uh, I think, my second favorite Pokemon. That's a bummer. Um... Psybeam's not gonna work. Aren't you, like, really, like, a glass cannon? So I should just hit you with whatever I have, and that'll be enough. Baby doll eyes. I'm not gonna use an attack. I'm a special attacker. Wow, that did not do as much as I hoped it did. I guess you're physically weak. Uh, okay. Uh, what do I do here? Scratch is gonna work. God, you have such bad moves. Learn moves, please. I'm begging you. You're gonna be great when you learn Psychic and Flamethrower, and until then, I feel like you're just like, you're like fighting with training weights on it, feels like. Like you're gonna rip him off like rock or like broccoli. It's gonna be like I'm actually a really good Pokemon. Oh, I part. You're dark, right? So Psybeam will work on you. This is a weird team. You can stop now. It's fine. I don't want to fight a skill link's Lipard. Fake out is not going to work the second turn. What are you even trying to do here? Get Psy Shock to level it evolves? I guess that's okay. I don't really like Psy Shock that much, though. Which is really good for it. Is it? How does Psy Shock work again? I thought it worked based on your physical attack. And isn't Fennekin a special attacker? Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Alright. We have a different Firefox? Okay. Fortunately for you, this is my strongest. Don't even bother trying to steal my Pokemon. and all your dirty tricks. We Aku, uh, Akui admins are a step above. We'll be able to hit your Pokeballs away. Now you're lucky I don't actually hit. I'm actually out of Kunai. Just kidding, of course I have more Kunai. Ice school Kunai. Oh no. I'm frozen? What am I gonna do? I can be available darkness. This Pokemon cannot be caught. Well, that's annoying. Oh no. What am I gonna do against this this fire? Or against this, this ice? I mean, I'm gonna get frozen anyway. Or I mean, I'm gonna. I can't move anyway, but. Oh my god, what a prediction. Stop making me use fire uh, fire spin. That feels so rude. And it's flash fire. Ah! He tricked me! He tricked me! <laughs> he froze me so I'd use a fire move so it'd power up nine tails. God damn it. I fell right for it. Yeah, that's fair. Uh Use a special attack, but hits physical defense to the opponents. So, like, Espeon is especially bulky, so I thought he was pretty alright. Oh, that makes sense. Alright, Kermit, you've been doing a lot of dying recently. I need you to not do that today. Water Pulse. Confusion? 
Why did that do so little? What? Why did that not do anything? How is that not super effective? What, what am I missing here? Is this the... Fuck me, dude, I forgot even disable. Is this the, uh, the, the dark typing shit? Where it just, like, eliminates its weaknesses? That seems kind of stupid. Cool, dude! What a fun match! I love when typings don't matter anymore. Okay. <laughs> this sucks. I hate this. My Pokemon suck. I have three Pokemon that are unusable because <laughs> I just keep trying to, like, slowly level them up. It's not working. Toxel's dead weight. I, I Baby Thievel can't do shit. It's 15 levels below everything. And fucking Grottle can't do shit either. The two Pokemon need to actually work. Have, one of them has no goddamn moves. And the other one just doesn't want to be super effective anymore. This game sucks. I hate it. Ah. Sorry, guys. Again, a lot of that I don't think... I don't think that's Pokemon Bushido. I think I'm still upset from... Uh, from, from playing Pokemon... Uh, from playing Pokemon... Uh, Steam 2. I think I'm still a little upset. I, I can't guarantee it, but it, it, it feels right. Uh, I got some rare candies. Swap Deedle and Grovel for like Passimian and Oranguru just for this fight. Or, could grind. I think I will put the evil away for now. Uh, because they're not good at this level. I do have other dark Pokemon that I keep forgetting about too. I just don't know if it makes sense to use them. Yeah, but you can't grind the shadows? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Um... What a Pokemon again? I mean, what do I even do against that Ninetales? So, like, I was joking before, but are... Those are... Is Ninetales, like, legitimately, like... When they're, when they're dark Pokemon, do they straight up lose their weaknesses? That seems so OP. <laughs> like, what do you even do against that? Especially since they already like buffed them on their own. Like they just they just buffed them during the battle. Uh, we're supposed to unlock it right after this fight, I think. So this is the last fight I have to do before it. I think the shadows in this can't be hit by weak. That's so stupid. That's not a good. That's not good balancing. So you need a good Pokemon to punch through. I guess so. My Pokemon have shit moves. They're not really delivering. Uh, alright. And... Let's just pick another random-ass Pokemon that might be fun to use. I think I'll bring Riolu back in for the Steel typing. Although you're not Steel yet, you're just fighting. So that doesn't really work. Uh... You know what, we'll just we'll do, we'll bring uh, Zorua in here. So just to mess with him. Actually, no. We'll, we'll leave we'll leave this as is. Grottle is actually can at least take out one Pokemon if he doesn't screw it up. But I think I want to grind a little bit. At least get one more level in Toxel or what is it? Thirty for Toxel? Fuck, dude. At least get it a little bit higher. We'll just grind for a sec. Toxel can at least suck with spikes. This is true. And that did help. But I need better moves yesterday. <laughs> this is... This is a lot. Oh, he got Steeny. The shoe Toxel is also kind of dead weight post uh, T-Spikes. Yeah. That's a problem. I didn't think that would kill. That's all right. Toxel does evolve at 30, right? Yeah, and I have two rare candies, so I really just need to get Toxel to, uh, to 28, and then I'll level up then. I also don't know what this gym level cap is. It feels high. Like, I feel my, my Pokemon are still, like, underleveled. I guess the other thing is, I usually try not to overlevel in these kind of games, but this game is already so unfair against you. <laughs> like, with the, like, crazy status effect shit, and the, uh... That they just like randomly whip out and like uh the, the random like stat boost they give i feel like i feel like it's not that bad to be over leveled here because you kind of need to be because they don't fight fair i 
Ooh, Solosis, said no one. Who, who, who are Solosis fans? I feel like I asked this last time I saw one. I don't understand this Pokemon. I don't understand why people like it. It just, feel, it just looks weird. It looks like a fetus. I love Reuniclus. Why? <laughs> just looks like a Pokeball. They drive away attackers by unleashing psychic power. They can use telepathy to talk with others. It's a cell that goes through mitosis, whatever it's called. Ah, yes. Mitochondria. The, the cell. Powerhouse of the cell. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I know my stuff. Funny guy. You got me there. That's it's a pretty... It's a pretty good reasoning. Deer just use takedown on me. Excuse me. Why does everyone get crits except me, dude? What the fuck? Ah! I need you to be alive. That's a very big backspread. Oh, fling? What move is fling again? Dark? User flings its held item at the target to attack. Its power and FX depend on the item. I don't know that I have any good items that fling would work with. And, I, and since it doesn't trigger normally, I feel like it's a bad move. I should have started my first time trying to play Pokemon Black when it came out. No. Please, by all means, regale me. Pension. Oh, look, a Pokemon with Rapid Spin. I can get rid of Toxic Spikes. There's my crit. Fling is good using doubles when you fling berries at partners. Oh, you, do you just like a... Uh, if you fling like an orange berry, does it activate on the partner when it hits them? It'd be pretty cool. This should be neutral to you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why did you go first that time? Oh, circle throw has negative priority, that's why. I forgot about that. I believe it does? That's pretty cool. Every foe into up into the second gym where I restarted landed at least one crit in battle without fail is fucking suffering, Jesus. That sucks. I believe it too. I've seen Pokemon. Pokemon knows how to make you miserable at times. Boy, Pancham, if you could learn a dark move, we could go pretty far here. But uh you seem to not want to do that. Psych up. I don't have any stat boosts. What are we doing? At least our Anguru, uh is pretty decent XP. Just slow. I don't like I don't like grinding. Oh, okay. You can get those uh those patches here. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll pop a maybe I'll pop a what do you call it? Um. Pop that like black flute so we can get the repel effect and then uh and then see if we can find any like shaking bushes. That could be cool. See if we can get some rare Pokemon here. Since I'm just vibing anyway. I wonder how long that that lasts. Not very long, it turns out. <laughs> Not very long. Is it just like a shitty repel effect? Why did it do that? Your defense means nothing to if I crit. Boy, that black flu didn't work at all, did it? <laughs> it just did not work. Alright, cool. Do you guys remember when I yeeted Viridian out of the battle? That was pretty funny. I bet that'll work again later, too. I bet that wasn't a one-time thing. Chat, what's your uh, what's your favorite fictional monkey? It could be a Pokemon. It could be anything. I don't know. What's your favorite fictional monkey? And then counter, what's your favorite non-fictional monkey? What's your favorite real life monkey? I don't think I have a favorite fictional. I I, I don't have any against monkeys. I just don't think I'm really like 
I don't know. I just I don't really have any feelings about them. <laughs> just sort of like, yeah, they exist, and that's that's all I feel about them. Edamon for both answers. <laughs> Fair. Edamon's a pretty good answer. Jim. Fiki and Harambe. I knew someone would say Harambe. Can't resist. Sun Wukong. Toxin only needs one more level. And it becomes a usable Pokemon. Wukong is fave fictional. My favorite IRL monkey is a monkey. Uh, is, isn't a monkey, but Silverback Gorillas. I don't, I don't really have any strong opinions. <laughs> I believe you. Fucking rock smash, dude. Alright, relax. Light screen, huh? Well, normally I'd say no, but you still know Scratch for some reason, so I guess it couldn't hurt. Since I've got some free fucking moves. So you mean in lemurs? Not really monkeys, but still. Uh, I'm very upset that nobody listed Zabumafu. Zabumafu, the, uh, the premier monkey. Doing it so that the rest of us are doing it for the, for the love of the game. I think Blackfruit reduced the encounter by 50% until map transition. That, it feels like it increased my, uh, the amount I have. Also, just use flip turn. What the fuck? Oh, I love Minimize so much. Oh my god, you just got Stomping Tantrum? Can you fucking relax, dude? Vital Throw. Okay. 70. Uh, always It's got negative priority, but it won't miss. Uh, low sweep is 65. 100 accurate. Reduces speed. Guarantees a speed drop. Uh, circle Throw. We can't get rid of Circle Throw. It's not allowed. Also has negative priority. Uh, slash and fall and snipe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of vital throw. Do you guys remember uh, Jane Goodall? By the way, any, any Jane Goodall fans in the chat? I remember hearing about her constantly when I was growing up. I don't know what it was, but like I know that she was uh, big in animal conservation and helping out the gorillas and stuff. But then, like, I feel like once I hit like middle school, I never heard about her again. That's what I mean, right? Nobody hears about Jane Goodall anymore. I assume she stopped doing what she was doing. But I feel like I heard her constantly. <laughs> I just feel like there were tons of references to her and everything. It's like it just completely went away. I keep moving my standing mat backwards by accident. She lived with the chimps, I think, right? Or the apes? I think she was who uh, who Jane in uh, Tarzan is based on. Also, I got some better answers to the favorite Disney movie growing up. Uh, someone said Hunchback of Notre Dame in the comments. It's a good one. That's a good one. Still alive, but 89. Nice. Wait. Never mind. All right. I just need Toxel to get there. Come on. <laughs> Hunchback's my favorite old school Disney movie? Interesting, really. I don't think it's that good of a movie. I think Hunchback is fine. I think it's I think it's I think it's good, especially like compared to some of the newer movies. Like I think Hunchback still beats like some of the newer Disney movies, but I was surprised to hear that it was someone's favorite. I just I just sort of thought it was whatever. Holy shit, she studies chimps for 60 years? Goddamn right. Uh, Emperor's New Groove is really, really good. I, I watched that movie a couple years ago and I was like, wow, this movie still still is great. Yeah, Frollo is a weird weird villain. I don't I don't know what's going on there. I don't really like it. Here does all the work and does so much for his friends still doesn't get the uh the girl it's supposed to be most most uh, of my life. Oof. I don't know how to respond to that. I don't <laughs> really have a good answer. I guess so. I guess that is one of the I, that is a weird movie in that I don't think anyone really thanks him in the end. He sort of just is the hero, and then it's just like, all right, and the movie's wrapped up. There, I, it's funny. They, it was like that in Kingdom Hearts 3D, because there's because they have the Hunchback world in that too. 
And I remember thinking, wow, it, they really just kind of ignore him at the end here, don't they? Like he doesn't really do like he doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Brave Little Toaster goes to Mars. Brave Little Toaster, I think, was Don Bluth? No, I don't think it was Don Bluth, but it's not Disney. Talking about its hard sepals, so it plays with bird Pokemon without worry. They peck it relentlessly, but it doesn't care. Oh, okay. I get it. It goes, <laughs> it goes from sub to dumb when it evolves. Cool. Um, let me use the... I guess I'll start moving up. Level 27 Solosis, okay. Bellfire's a great song, to be fair. I don't think I remember it. I feel like saying Pirates of the Caribbean shouldn't count since it's not anime, but those were definitely some of my childhood faves. It was weird to hear you say childhood faves. When did Pirates of the Caribbean 1 come out? Wasn't that like almost... Wasn't that like 2006? We would have been like... I guess, yeah, I guess that's childhood, right? We would've been like 11, 10. No, 2006, we've been like 14, give or take. That can't be right. I see, I see a shaking bush and I'm going for it. Wait, where are my revives, repels? Oh, okay. I should probably put a stronger Pokemon up front just in case. Play Power World with you, Boomer. You are older than me by a good amount, sir. Uh, I'm going to play Power World tomorrow. Oh, it disappeared. It's only there for like a second, huh? What if I just like wait here and hope another one spawns? Brave Little Toaster was actually distributed by Disney? Oh, today I learned. Nick, that was almost 20 years ago. We were old. I know, I know, I know. It took me a little sec, but I got there. Um, I turned 29 this year and not liking it. Uh, yeah, I turned 29 for the third time this year. No, I don't care. Dude, I'm going to get old and I'm going to die one day. That's that's how everyone goes through it. I don't give a shit about age. I only start caring about age when my body starts, like, failing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I don't want to be old anymore. Never mind. Go back. Well, I repelled for nothing. That's fucking annoying. <laughs> Jesus. This game sucks. Why are you like this? Not even 30 of my body is doing that? It do be like that sometimes. There it is. Hold on. That wasn't fucking worth it, dude. We already found one of these in the wild. I should put up a list of uh, of who you can counter in these areas, just so I can like, so I can know if it's like worth it to look for them or not. Monkey's face looks like butt cheeks. I think that's the point. It's the skunk. It's meant to look like that. Hercules is another banger. Hercules is the one we we, uh, we started talking about it with. Some people, uh, some someone said they'd never seen Hercule Hercules. I think it was under, and we were like, and we were like, yeah. You didn't catch it though. I don't want a Stunky. I don't like them. They're annoying Pokemon. I've gotten stuck on uh, on them before because they have a, only a few weaknesses and they're kind of niche, so I don't really. Uh, so it was always annoying. Absolutely seen Hercules. I can't believe Underwood lied to us like this. I think Danny said he'd be down to return his uh, Philocles in live action to the ass. Oh, that'd be awesome. He, well, that's so weird, though. Why would he want to do it for live action, but wouldn't do it for the Kingdom Hearts games? <laughs> they got his. Uh, they got the one who did his voice in the animated show instead of him. I guess enough time has passed where he probably has nostalgia for the character at this point. But like, he had plenty of opportunities to verse Hercules or voice Hercules, and I don't think I think he only did the the movie. <laughs> There's a whole different guy who voiced him every other time. It's kind of like with, uh, uh, it's kind of like with Genie and, uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams voiced G Genie in Aladdin 1 and 3. Aladdin 2 was voiced by Dan Castellaneta, who's the voice of Homer, uh, in Simpsons. And a bunch of other, uh, and he's also like the the robot devil in Futurama, a bunch of other voices. Really, really talented. He did Genie really well during the animated series and during Kingdom Hearts. I already used my katana? Are you fucking for real? Ah, <laughs> oh, it sucks. What do you mean I already used it? 
Is it because I didn't act, because I just like teleported back to the, uh, the hot spring instead of like going in it on my own? Aladdin 2 went straight to video though, so did 3. Maybe it was a money thing where KH wouldn't pay enough? No, if I remember correctly, uh, I think the timing on this works out. I think that he was, he stopped, he only voiced it in Kingdom Hearts, or I'm sorry, in, um, he only voiced Genie in, uh, in Aladdin 1. And then he had a dispute with Disney over how much money they were going to pay him or something like that. Like, they had a dispute. And then I think by the time Aladdin 3 had come out, they resolved the dispute. And I think Kingdom Hearts came up before Aladdin 3. I think. Or maybe it was in development before that. Kingdom Hearts released in what? 2002? And then Aladdin... Uh, Kingdom Hearts released in 2002. Aladdin came out in 1996. I don't know when Aladdin 3 came out, but it's... That timeline kind of matches up. So I wouldn't be surprised. King of Thieves was pretty good. Whoa! Okay, this was worth it, dude. Alright. Okay. Hell yeah. Alright, I guess it's worth checking those uh, those bushes. I've never used one of these. Evolves at level 64 as a reminder. Is it the final of the Evo is at 65? Okay, guys. Can we just be excited I found a rare Pokemon? Why does everyone have to yuck my yum as soon as I find one? Can we relax? Goofy movie? Goofy movie. Goofy movie is really, really good. We did just have these discussions, by the way. We all we had this entire uh, Disney movie discussion in a different video. I think it was Digimon World 3 randomized. But, uh, yes. I haven't seen Extremely Movie, or Extremely Goofy movie. I just know that I really related to, uh, to, I, as a kid, I related to Max, and as an adult, I'm like, how could he treat Goofy like that? He can't let you have anything, apparently. I don't know if it was a Disney movie, the Ernest movies. I, like, Ernest scared stupid, and Ernest this and that. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's a bit before, I think, some of our time here. <laughs> I've only heard of those movies. I've never seen them. It's right up there with Family Vacation. Did that thing try to roar? It tried to roar a couple times. Maybe it's disabled, so it doesn't work against uh, against trainers. No way you haven't seen any Ernest movies? I haven't. Lacking sight, it's unaware of its surroundings, so it bumps into things and eats anything that moves. Same. It's everyone's favorite Scooby movie, excluding Nick. Sorry, hold on. Something came up. Oh my god, please. Alright, I'll find a different one. Hold on. Five minutes under. Go away. Excluding Nick. Sorry, who's being excluded now? Uh, alright. <laughs> That's so aggressive. That was so aggressive. Reminder that none of you can cross me. None of you. I'm just goes to camp was on a Dis was on a, uh it was done Disney special once. Ooh, Pawniard too. Got some uh some pretty cool Pokemon here. I think I'm more likely to use Pawniard than I am uh 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 whatever the dragon guy was. I already forgot his name. Used to rent the Ernest movies from Blockbusters all the time. They always seem to have one I hadn't seen before. I'll quickly just read out the sentence. I used to rent Ernest movies from Blockbuster all the time. Is a very old sentence. Uh, how do I, how do I untime out under? <laughs> Changes to ten seconds. There we go. <laughs> Why is there a ten second option? <laughs> That's so weird. Ignoring their injuries, group attacks by groups attack by sinking their blades that cover their bodies into their prey. <laughs> um, yeah, I've never seen an Ernest movie. Uh, they sound, they don't sound real to me. They sound like somebody made them up. All right, we got another bush here. Another stunky. I wonder if they hold up. I'd bet my life they don't. <laughs> I'd bet my life they don't hold up. <laughs> Just a guess. I saw you doing that live, and I was like, come at me. I did. So, you got what you wanted. Seen some Ernest? They're real goofy? I thought we were talking about Ernest movies, not goofy movies. 
Poison Dark. I want a dark Pokemon here. Bet they have some vaguely racist animals just to guess. Maybe some crows. No, that's 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 Dumbo. Uh, all right. Um, so what do I want to do here? Let's do rare candies on Toxel. Isn't Scooby-Doo WB, though, so I was trying not to get you in trouble? Oh, that's fair. I actually forgot. <laughs> We're talking about childhood ones. It's different, I think. Um, that is fair. Uh, I think my favorite Scooby-Doo movie is either the live-action one, because it's crazy that movie even got made, uh, or Zombie Island. That's another good one. Uh, but I think that... I don't think I've seen that many. He died in 2000. Sean, that was 24 years ago. <laughs> That's not recent at all. Ooh, Cyber Chase is a good one. I'll, I'll give you Cyber Chase. Didn't they, like, change the art styles in that? Where they, they, like, met, like, a different version of themselves in that, too? There's a Cyber Chase video game. There's actually a few uh, Scooby-Doo video games. I don't think I'm allowed to play any of them, for what it's worth. Uh, but those could be pretty neat. They made a return to Zombie Island? That seems like it. That's not... Why would they do that? Doesn't, that didn't need a sequel. <laughs> Thought I liked Cyber Chase upon rewatching, thinking on it more. It was kind of mid. I, I could believe that too. I could believe that about a lot of kids' movies. You see me go to the items and keep like going into them and leaving. It's because I'm deciding if I want to use, if I want to heal this way, and I think I do. All right. Start with Toxtricity, I guess. I don't. I don't like his animation <laughs> from the side. <laughs> I don't like it. It's not good. <laughs> Dude, come on. All right. <laughs> just, just keep, just pretend it didn't see it. Land Before Time will always be a banger. I'll find anyone who disagrees. We were talking about, uh, we were talking about Land Before Time at work yesterday. Um, did you know that there are 14 Land Before Time movies? And I know that because they have the numbers in the name of them. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, and I also, uh, we were talking about how uh, Land Before Time is made by Don Bluth, who also made uh, All Dogs Go to Heaven. I think The Brave Little Toaster, but I'm not sure. Uh, Secret of Nim. Like, he made a bunch of those, uh, bunch of those like, really traumatizing kids' movies. <laughs> like, you know, Land Before Time, where a bunch of the adults die. And then, uh, and then uh, All Dogs Go to Heaven, where they, where they ask the important question of, like, what if your dog went to hell? Which I'm like, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Okay, I guess Don Bluth. Uh, but just uh, thought that'd be some fun facts for you guys. Let's start with Grottle. He did a good time. He did a, a good job against uh, against their first Pokemon last time. I should save before this, but it's too late now. Toaster's not Don. Ninety percent sure, unless I can't read Google. It feels like a Don Bluth thing because little Brave Little Toaster one has some like absolutely traumatizing scenes. Like when they get, when there's a, you see the cars get trash compacted. That's pretty messed up. There's a, there's the one with like the scary air conditioner and stuff and like the apartment. That's a, it's like a really messed up, uh, really messed up series of movies. Like they're not, they're like a little scary. <laughs> One more. Live. Let's go. All right, kill. All right, good job, Grottle. Proud of you. Died to hyper mode, huh? That is a very tall back spread. <laughs> That's a very, very tall back spread. Why is he so tall? He's under the enemy's health bar. Wow, you have a ton more HP now, too. A usable move, let's go! I'm unstoppable now? Oh, I'm poison type now, that's right. 
Favorite live action Disney movies growing up was Jungle the Jungle. I remember Jungle the Jungle. God, I watched Jungle the Jungle so many times. I don't know why I watched that movie so many times, but I did. That and uh, I think the one I like even more was uh, Can't Be Paralyzed. Nice try, genius. I think the only, uh, I think the movie I watched more than that was uh, George of the Jungle. George of the Jungle 1 is a really, really good movie. And there is a direct-to-DVD sequel that I don't think is that good, but has a really great fourth wall-breaking moment where uh, he, I think Brendan Fraser sends himself back to the jungle through post, and it's like a really small box. In the second movie, they get a really big transport container to ship him back, and I think the narrator says something like, learning from Brendan Fraser's mistakes, we get a bigger box. And I'm like, that's really funny. <laughs> that's a really good joke. When I, when I found out Mimi Siku was in Not Another Team Movie, who was that? I don't know who that is. To swing or not to swing? <laughs> swing. Dude, George of the Jungle was such a good movie. I should rewatch that and see if it holds up. Oh, the kid in Jungle to Jungle. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I don't. I, I remember seeing Jungle to Jungle. Was that Tim Allen who was the dad in that? I think I've seen that movie a lot and I don't remember a single thing about it. I also, I bet that movie does not hold up. <laughs> I bet that movie is probably problematic at this point. If I had to wager a guess. Pinch him. Kid named himself Mimi Siku, which meant cat piss in their language. Nice. In another George Jungle movie, the actor tells an narrative they didn't want to pay Brendan Fraser, which is why George looks different. <laughs> Dude, yes. I think that's I think that is a line they have too. Also, I think <laughs> it's either George's Jungle 1 or 2 that the narrator literally just like lifts the bad guy out of off the screen and then he just disappears. That's like, <laughs> that's just how the movie ends or that's that's how they resolve that is a literal Deus Ex Machina, which is pretty funny. Oh chat, I was talking yesterday about how I took a lot of theater courses. Did you do you guys know what an actual Deus Ex Machina was like a true one? N nowadays, it just means it's just a term that means, uh, you know, kind of like something that comes out of nowhere, written into the story just to help the the protagonist, stuff like that, which is the correct definition. I remember learning in uh, in my different theater courses that there used to be um, there used to be a literal like crane where when the main character was in a bad situation, they would literally take a crane, lift them up, and then carry them off stage. That's where Deus Ex Machina comes from. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't remember where I learned that. I remember specifically seeing it written in a textbook, so I think it's real. But uh, I thought that's a cool uh, cool little uh, you know backstory on where that uh, that term comes from. I want to make sure you guys learn something today. I also think that's pretty neat. I probably should have my fire Pokemon for this, but that's fine. I'll unfreeze. It's fine. Actually, I should probably not let them get set up. Remember to like, <laughs> remember to like, comment, subscribe for more fun facts like that. Yeah, exactly. If you either want fun facts about old theater productions, or if you want, uh, or if you want tips and tricks on how to dodge lightning in Final Fantasy X, I'm your guy. I remember learning that on some vid long ago. Hot dang, see your money. You're welcome. I'm glad to know it was real. I didn't just fever dream it. The lighting is in FF13 and in 10. You have to dodge 200 of them. Now I get the confusion. Of course it doesn't work, because that's the NPC. Confusion only works when it's used against me. Hated lightning dodging in FFX? Uh, it's not my favorite, but there's a... The short of it, if you don't want to go watch my video on it, uh, the short of it is that there's a... Uh, there's one little crater that you can like force a lightning to uh, to spawn. So instead of like randomly waiting and hoping that they strike, you can just literally uh, literally just like go in a circle around this hole and like force it. Just mash X every time you go into the hole. So there is a way around it. 
which I did not know until I was uh, until like 2013 when I played it in uh, in college. Stop disabling! You're so fucking annoying, dude. This this sucks. This fight's not fun. Weaknesses don't work. My moves are fucking disabled. This sucks. Jesus. It's our, It's also the last Pokemon, so like it's extra annoying because like I had to fight other Pokemon to get here. Wish you could dodge lightning in 13. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Luckily, it's for Lulu's weapon, and she's bad anyway. Yes. The the ultimate problem with Final Fantasy X. We got a lot of XP for that. I guess that kind of makes up for it. The the main problem with uh, Final Fantasy X is that once every single character is maxed out and max leveled, the only difference between them is uh is their overdrives, and the only ones who have good overdrives are Waka, Titus, and Orin. I guess Yuna too, but that doesn't really count. Quick hit go burr. Quick hit do go burr. I've never gotten to a lightning dodge about the video that guy made about how to control the lightning. Hell yeah. Lulu's not... It's it's not... She's not bad. It's just right at the end. Like, once you get to the end game, all of the characters are basically the same. But up until then, Lulu's pretty good. She's a, She's got very strong magic stats. The problem is that Yuna has even better magic uh, because she needs... She uses it to heal. So if you teach Yuna black magic spells, she can be a red mage, and there's no reason to use Lulu at that point. Mix broken when you do silly shit? Also true. Uh, you! It's not over yet! Katana, Shah, Victory Bell, use rap! I'm tired of- <laughs> no, hold on. I'm tired of being useless. I'm tired of not being able to support my clan. You won't get away with this. Shut up. You put my village in- Oh, sorry. You put my villager in, in danger. Why have I been so naive? Done being powerless. Now I'll be known as Harumi Ko Ko Kohana, the leader of the Korome clan. Miss Harumi. <clears throat> You're coming with me. Shogun will be love talking to you. I feel like the only person who's never struggled Chocobo Racing in 10. All three times I've done it, it's only taken me a couple of tries. Uh, it's never taken me like an hour. I definitely, I think, I, at one point when I was doing it, I don't know if it was the last time I did it or when I was doing it on, uh, when I was doing it during my playthrough that I recorded. But uh, the Chocobo Racing, it is just RNG based. Sometimes you can just get really bad seeds. Seeds, I don't know if they'd be called that. Where it's just like all of the balloons will be in front of the other NPC and like none will spawn near you and like the birds will spawn like as you're like crossing the threshold where they spawn. You can get really bad luck there, but for the most part, it doesn't really take me that long. I think people overreact to saying how bad it is. I think lightning dodging is worse just because it's more of a time commitment. Uh, I can't thank you enough, Nick. Thanks to you, we were able to save Rizian and stop the Yuhui clan. I sent Mashiro to the capital, so what? Uh, so hopefully the Shogun gives her what she deserves. I guess I should thank you personally as well. After seeing my village in danger, I think I understand what it takes to be a leader. You're welcome to challenge my dojo. I'm sure you know where the dojo is located. Hell yeah, dude. Turns out that uh, just evolving Toxtricity did uh, did wonders. Um, all you need is a good seed, and it's all skill based, pretty easy. Yes, but again, you can get you can get screwed over in that, especially uh, by the birds that fly at you. Because you also have to be kind of aware of where the opponent is too. Because if you're even if you're like way ahead of the opponent, if they're like directly behind you, then a bird will spawn and just like immediately hit you. But even though it's not trying to hit you, it's trying to hit the other opponent. So you just got to be aware. You can get really really bad luck in that though. So can I go purify now? <laughs> like, how do I? Nobody has told me I can. I feel like I don't know. Do I have to beat this? I don't remember at this point. You get the early level three key sphere that lets Yuna get into Lulu's grade at tier two spells. Yeah. Oh, the expert sphere grid. Yes, agreed. I think so, but I don't remember. Okay, I'll just give it a shot. I don't remember where you get more abilities for your katana either. Sawsbuck, where were you before? I know Grottle's not not ready to uh <clears throat> I know Grottle's not ready to evolve yet, but I just want to see. Probably just story based? I don't know. Oh my god, please. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the encounter rate in this place though. Dealing evolve in a Sawsbuck, right? Yeah, that's that's why I wasn't really trying that hard to catch it, because I'm like, I can just get another one. Dude, two steps? Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> please. Please. Give me a better encounter rate. This sucks. Oh my god, dude. Come on! This is not good game design. 
Having encounters every one to three steps is sucks. Stop doing it, game devs. Jesus. I'm begging you. <laughs> it's so bad. Ugh. Um, I guess I'll just do the dojo and just like, I guess if I can cure a Pokemon, it'll happen after. Maybe I'll talk to the other guy. I don't know. I feel like we should be at the point where I can purify Pokemon. We're pretty not, we're a little bit deep in here. We're at the end of part four, so. Uh, maybe I'll just try talking to someone first. I don't know. We'll, we'll bring uh, the evil just in case. I keep thinking I have to go in here to change Pokemon because I'm so used to doing that with Pokemon centers. I keep forgetting Talonflame exists. Oh, I've been to the second box. Look at that. I was gonna say, for a second I saw Grottle still following me. Yeah, I'll pop her a, a repel, try to get the end here, and we'll see if I can purify yet. That kid did say to meet them at the shrine. Maybe I have to go like deeper or something? I'm also running out of uh, repels, which I'm a little bit worried about. As we all know, the black flute doesn't work. Oh, also. Forgot that repels work this way. When is uh when did Fennekin and uh Froki evolve, by the way, or Frogadier evolve? They're both 32. I know that's the earliest that uh starters start evolving. Thirty-six? Of course they are. Of course they are. I think we've got a dino in here. So I think uh, when you beat the game, your Pokemon will be around like level 70. Which, But that is also the reason why I didn't, I purposely didn't take uh, Volcarona because like the evolution takes so long. Okay, well. Uh, <laughs> where did our friend, our bug friend go? I guess not. Gotta be the battle after the dojo then? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I still have the repel on. Well, I've walked pretty far in here now. Okay. I assume he jumps you after the dojo. I don't think he jumps you. He's gonna be like, ooh, ooh I thought we had a date, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna be like, get away from me. Oh, right, because Baby Thievel's not evolved. Well, it's kind of annoying. He Freddy Fazbear jump scares, probably. Yeah, that's probably exactly how it happens. Tag you from the side and drags you to the shrine, screaming about purification while all looks look in horror and confusion. I don't think that happens. I'd wager a guess that's not how it goes down, but what do I know? I haven't gotten there yet. Another Pawniard. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know who else I want to add to the team. I, I keep running into the same problem with these games, which is uh, so many Pokemon and, that I want to use and only six slots. That's why, uh, that's my main reason why I wish more games would just include rare candies. Not because I want to cheat and don't want to level up, but because I want the ability to raise multiple different Pokemon and like not have to choose or narrow it down to like one or two. That's all. I don't want much in this world. Uh, Alright, we'll put him back for now. Also, my box is a mess. I should probably organize it at some point, but... I'm not going to. <laughs> I just know I won't. Alright, well, uh, I think we'll save there. That'll be the end of part four. Sorry that a lot of it was grinding, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Disney movie conversation. At least. But uh, yeah, we're gonna end it there. Uh, stream chat, chat room. Don't forget to, to like the stream to show that you wanna see more Pokemon Bushido. Don't forget YouTube in the comments. Don't forget to like the video to show that you want more of it. Uh, also chat room, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be doing Pal World. Gonna try out the early access part of that. And uh, you know, depending on how I feel about it, we might we might play for a while, might, might break it into parts. Uh, and then um, 
I think on Sunday, if I don't take the day off, which I might because I'm getting a little tired, uh, I plan to play some uh, some Turnip Boy uh, Robins Bank. I think that'll be pretty fun. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, YouTube, I'll see you later. Goodbye.